I've been doing a lot of baking lately and decided to kind of try to get to know my oven just a little bit better. I, I know it kind of well. Um, for example, I'm preheating it right now behind me, trying to get it to 350. I know from experience and from testing it, I'm, I'm actually setting it at 365. I need an extra 15 degrees. What I don't really know, well, I also know the back of my oven tends to cook faster, but I'm not so sure about top to bottom and exactly everywhere. So I've got my oven racks out and I got a loaf of just really cheap white bread. It costs like a dollar. And what I'm gonna do, and let's just get you down here and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Okay, here we are. So this is just one of the oven racks from my oven. Uh, this doesn't really matter, but you're looking at the front, these two handles at the front, and then this sort of high up thing is in the back. Um, I'm gonna take, now one of the ways I've seen people do this is just covering it with bread. But I kind of don't want to do that because I think that's unrealistic in terms of flow. Um, yeah, we have a cookie sheet on here sometimes, but I kind of want to have there be more um, airflow so I can get, I think, I think it'll give me a better reading on uh, what's going on. So I'm choosing, I've not done this before, I did a little research and um, I think this should work just fine. I'm gonna put nine pieces of bread on the rack, like this. So we've got front, middle, back, you know, left, middle, right. And I'm gonna cook this for 10 minutes and we'll see the results. When that comes out, I'm gonna load this other rack. And the reason I have two is I don't, I don't want the racks to be hot. I want them to cool off. So I'll, I'll load this one up with bread. And um, the first rack, the first track I'll put on, say, the top. I'm not sure yet. Um, the second one I'm gonna do in the middle, and the third one I'll have on the bottom. So I'm gonna do three racks of nine. So we'll basically have 27 points to see how it cooks, right? So we'll get to know sort of top, middle, bottom, <laughs> top, middle, bottom, front, middle, back, and left, middle, right. And then we'll, we'll compare all the results of the three um, cookings at you know, 10 minutes each. And I'm gonna let the oven warm up really, really well first, like a good hour, so that there's not a preheating factor involved. I want it to be a really stable temperature, 10 minutes each, and we'll see. We'll see, does it cook more on the top, less on the bottom? It should. In general, we should see a little bit more on the top, less on the bottom. Um, I also suspect, highly suspect, we're gonna see more on the back, but we'll see. This will be sort of the test, and we'll see the data, the bread, <laughs> when it comes out. So uh, I'm just going to wait until the oven heats up. I'll put this in and very likely the next time you see this, it will be coming out after 10 minutes. All right, but we'll see. I might show you putting it in, but it's, um, I might just leave it here. Okay, see you in a bit. We're inside the oven. Just showing you the thermometer. It's just a little above 350 an hour later. I'm gonna close it up and let it um, kind of come back up to temp here for a few. Okay, it's an hour later. Uh, the bread might look a little bit different because I actually put it away. Uh, after, I realized it was gonna dry out if I let it sit and I didn't want that to be a factor. So I tried to get, I actually avoided the end of the loaf too. So I tried to get pieces that were really nice and about the same size. I tried to line them up really nicely. And um, got the oven at 350, it's probably 352 it says. I'm gonna put them in there for 10 minutes. If there's no color, then I'll leave them in. So um, I'm gonna try 10, but I'll basically leave them in till we see something, and then we'll do the other two racks at the same um, time. So I'm gonna put these in here on the top rack and um, and then set a 10 minute timer. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Be gentle. Okay, top rack. And 10 minute timer set. Okay, it's just been 10 minutes. I'm trying to open the oven. My oven is on. So we gotta give it 10 minutes and a few seconds, really. I'm gonna take a quick peek here. Don't. I'm gonna have to pull this out to see. Alright. Let's just go with this for now. Real quick, let's just see what we got after 10 minutes here. I might. Well, this is kind of telling us something, but I'm not sure it tells us much. 
I see broader browning here, here, a little bit here. So it's almost kind of this, there's a middle, like a weird sort of triangle of heat. These seem a little browner than these. You know, since I pulled it out, I let heat out, even opening it, um, let the heat out. So it's not, I need to give it a couple minutes to catch back up and putting these back in is gonna be a sort of a weird comparison. I, I may think we will end up with an apples to oranges kind of comparison. So I'm gonna go with 10 minutes and a few seconds. Top, we can see this. I'm gonna move these over and um, go ahead and do the, the bread for the second one and get that in. I'll show you the second one when it comes out. Yeah. Okay, I kind of lied. I want to show you the bread. So this is just the second. This is the second set. It's going to go in the middle rack. All right. And here we go. One, two, three, three, right there. I'm trying to get this in. Okay. And that's going to go for 10 minutes as well. We'll see that when it comes out. I'm going to move these probably to a cookie sheet or something like that because I need to use this rack again. For the um, for the very bottom, and the second batch or second set, whatever you want to call it, uh, middle rack is done. Or at least it's been ten minutes. I'm doing a quick peek here to see what we got. If we got anything, but we kind of got to pull it anyways. This is a pretty cheap test, so if I need to rerun it, I will. But uh, we got some color. I think we've got some data. Very similar pattern, but a little bit different. Um. Notice in the middle, we're looking, the this side is getting cooked more than this side. And definitely here, um, it's not on, but I think it runs sometimes anyways. There's a convection fan right behind, right about here. And that, I, I, I'm gonna watch it on the next batch and see if it moves at all, but I, I've always suspected that that cooked things a little bit more right in front of it and I, I tend to turn things a lot. And it seems like it's probably a good idea because look at look at these, if I had cookies, these guys would be way more cooked than these. And that's kind of the whole idea here. I wanna to try to figure out how best to evenly cook things like cookies. So, okay, middle rack is, is, is looking decent. And I'm gonna load up the, um, what used to be the top rack, but I will show you in here. For comparison, I moved the top rack to a, um, cookie sheet here, sheet pan, and you can see, kind of similar. Um, we'll compare all three at the end if, if I can find a really good way to do that. And uh, I'm just gonna load up, here's the old rack, I'm gonna load this up, and uh, I'll see you in 10, or ish. And the third set is done. Well, it's been 10 minutes, right? It's not like we're cooking it or anything. So I'm gonna just take a quick peek. I don't actually see any color. I thought this one would be really interesting because I've got two pizza stones just covering the bottom of my um, oven to uh, help with heat, uh, especially when I was baking bread, when I'm baking bread. But um, I thought it might really cook these guys, but I don't actually see much. But let's go ahead and pull them. I smell cooking bread. And I see some browning. And this actually looks pretty even to me. Um, first glance anyways, I see just this little bit of browning here, 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 and here. Not as much there, but to my eye, the bottom looks really good. I have a feeling it's because it's really close to the pizza stone and that pizza stone is just giving off heat across all of this area. So that's probably helping. Um, I also notice if you, I don't know if you can see, but this test is only so effective because Partly what's happening is the bread is doing a little bit of curling and each piece of bread is not doing the exact same amount of curling in the exact same way. So there's some variation in the, the bread shape and, and surface, which is going to give us different results on its own. So we kind of have to take this with a little bit of a grain of salt. Um, all right, so we've got the bottom here, right? Pretty even, maybe a little bit less cooking in the front. And then we've got the middle, woo, they're all over the place here, um, where we've got that sort of more cooking over here. It's really these three corners that I see the, the less 
um, browning and even this side, the right side and the bottom corners. And then, um, I'm just gonna set this on here. <laughs> Let's look at the top. All right, and the top. Um, very similar story to the middle, right? Cooking kind of in the middle over he here, not cooking this one very much or this one or this one. So it's not horrible. I don't think I feel like it's cooking fairly evenly. I think the pizza stones are helping, but I really don't know. Um, but I'm definitely going to make sure and look out for these corners. And uh, if I'm cooking full sheet, you know, half sheet pans full of stuff, I'm still going to be turning them around about halfway through. And, um, but I'm kind of glad I did this. It only cost a couple of bucks and I, I know my oven better. So not perfect, but it gives you some information about your oven and um, no, maybe you want to try it. If you do, let me know how it goes. Uh, if you find some better way of doing it too or something that's that works great for you, let us know. Um, maybe I'll try that too. Anyways, uh, hope you got something out of this. If you did, uh, consider subscribing and liking and sharing and all those social media things. And uh, see you next time. Over and out.